learned the song by the auteurs new French girlfriend and uh, we're gonna cover it we'll cover a little bit of the solo the song is in D uh, B minor is the relative minor of D so that's in this song quite prominently okay it starts out on uh, B minor at the seventh fret Uh, but it's just playing basically the top two strings. That's how the song begins. It's like down, and then you uh, play a couple chugs, and then you go down, up, down, up. And then uh, it goes to the it's just top two strings, but we're going to the uh, 10th fret from the 7th. Then we can go to the 3rd for the G. And then it finishes on the D. And that's kind of like the introduction. That's the verse, too. The intro is also the verse. Starts on D. We're playing a 10th fret. Play it as a bar chord up there if you wanted to. But we're just playing like the top strings. That's because that's what uh, the auteurs are doing. Then it goes to G. D. That's the verse. And then the, uh, that goes through that a couple times. And then uh, it goes to the, the chorus. New French girlfriend. of uh, D and G at the very end there. Let's go over that chorus. B minor, A, G, quick change to D, back to G, A, back to G. To explain it, it's a sound, you know, it's it's harder than it really is. That's the chorus. That's that's the whole song. Those two things. It's basically uh, the song is basically uh, just centered around that, that hook of the new French girlfriend riff part of the song. Uh, and then the, the solo um, is in B minor. And we can play that at the seventh and ninth frets, mostly. That's how the guitar solo starts. That's the price of success. That's in the B minor here at the second fret. Mostly it's on a G string at the 
fourth fret. Then you go to G at the second. Then we're going to move up to the seventh position and we're going to uh, quote uh, the Unchained Melody. Oh, my darling, my sweetheart. And then they, they stop there and go. So uh, that part of the guitar solo is a G. Oh, my. G at the seven. Go to the go to the nine on the G. Go to the B at the seven, and then we finish on the G at the seven. That's the first phrase. Then uh, the second phrase is just. Uh, twice on the B string at the seven. And then they finish it off with that is uh, on the D string, seven, nine. Go to the G string, did it twice. So all together, that first part is. are all pentatonic uh, uh, but it's the major uh, pentatonic minor pentatonic is going to give you a bluesy sound major pentatonic uh, gives you more uh, melodic do re mi fa so la ti do kind of sound okay thanks for that request and have fun playing it bye